guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look on this makeup look. Um, I use all of my favorite products from the month of June to create this look. Um, I loved every single one of these products. I loved how they worked um, and just how the look came out in general. Um, I think that it's just a beautiful summer peachy look. It is on the more like intense side than what I normally do. Um, so if you're wanting more natural looks to recreate yourself, I would definitely take a look at my other videos. I have plenty of great natural looks that you can create at home. But yeah, if you want to see how to get this peachy, orangey, summer look using my June favorites, then just keep watching. I'm going to be doing a video on all of my favorites for the month of June. Um, I don't have like a new favorite in every category. Some of them are using my old favorites. But I wanted to go ahead and make this video anyway. And once again, I'm going to be doing a full face application like I did in my last video, which I will link up, ab up above for you to take a look at. That was my May favorite. Um, today, I'm imagining like a peachy look. I have some eyeshadows from ColourPop that I've been loving. Um, and they're very peachy, very corally. So I thought that I can incorporate this into an eye look along with some other peachy shadows. Um, and we can do kind of like a summery peachy eye. So I hope that you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. The first product I'm going to be using is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot and this is by MAC. I'm going to be taking it with my usual brush and just putting down a thin layer to prime my eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with a shadow, and this is coming out of the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced. I've been using this one this month. I rotate my palettes out. If you haven't seen my makeup collection, definitely take a look at that video. I show you that I keep two palettes in my everyday drawer to switch out as I go, so I get used to everything. I'm going to be going in with just the matte cream shade, and I'm just going to be setting that base so that everything blends on top. Alright, the next shade I'm going to go in with, with the chocolate bar palette, is going to be this shade right here. It's a peachy brown and it's labeled salt to caramel. I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to buff this into my crease as a transition color. I'm actually going to use this mirror. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with a more precise brush. This is the Morphe 433. And I'm going to be taking this shade down here. This is kind of a neutral brown. This is milk chocolate. And I'm going to be buffing this a little bit lower into the crease. And this just helps create some structure. I've kind of fallen back in love with my chocolate bar palette. Like I forgot how good it smells and I forgot how blendable the shadows are. Um, so I've been using this one quite a bit this month and I've been loving it. And it's just good for like everyday looks. Now I don't believe that these shadows are as long lasting as some of the shadows that I own. Um, they're, they last for a decent amount of time but they're not as long lasting as like my Makeup Geek shadows or my MAC shadows. So just keep that one in mind, but they're good nonetheless. I like that. And this is the e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm going to be going in with this semi-sweet shade right here. And this is a red-toned brown. And I'm just going to be taking the littlest amount and just placing that on the outer corner. To just kind of deepen up the crease. All right, and it looks messy now, but don't worry, we will fix it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my ColourPop shadows that I have right here. I have more than just this, these are just the wild colors that I don't keep in my makeup kit. I'm gonna first go in with this orangey coral color right here. Actually, 
I'm going to go in with the mustard shade first. I've been really wanting to use this mustard shade and I haven't known how. So I'm going to be taking the 433 and I'm going to be buffing this into the crease as well. Whoa. That is super pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with the corally orange shade right here. And we're going to work on buffing this one into the crease as well. I'm going to be taking the same brush, the 433. I'm going to take a little bit better of a mirror. And I'm going to be packing this on. All right, and then now that we have that corally shade going on there now, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this metallic shade with my finger, and this is Expensive Pink by MAC. Um, it's a very beautiful, like, pinky peach shade, and I'm going to pop that onto my lid. It's hard because the shadow is moving. I love Expensive Pink. It's one of my favorite shadows by MAC. It's just a classic like peachy pink color. Like you can see it's just so corally and beautiful. Definitely something I would suggest picking up for your collection. And MAC shadows are only like five or six dollars a pan now which is awesome. They used to be like sixteen dollars a pan. So definitely getting out along the more affordable end of things. I'm actually going to take some Fix Plus by MAC and I'm going to spray a flat synthetic brush, wipe off the excess, and go back in with Expensive Pink and try to get a more like precise application. Alright, so we had to go turn the TV off and now we're back upstairs. I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two shades right here by ColourPop. Let me try to see if I can get the name. I don't think I can. I can get one. It's wait for it. It's one of the shades. So there you go. Um, I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two shades right here. And I'm just going to make the crease more peachy. We added a little bit of brown um, earlier. So I want to just intensify the peachiness of it. So I'm going to be going directly into the crease and buffing this in with the 443. The same one. As you can see, that's just brightening up this color so much. Alright, um, that is completed. I'm trying to think if I want to go in, I'm not going to go into that color. Um, I'm actually going to try and see. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I have this Estila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma. And I'm thinking about adding a little bit of this to the lid, but I want to sheer it out a little bit just because it is extremely pink and glittery and I wanted this to be more of a peachy look. So I'm going to see if I can add a little bit to my brush and go in that way and how that would work. Just unlike the inner cornerish. Okay, so that is it with the glitter on. I went ahead and just applied it to. 
I said the inner corner, but then I just kept on getting farther and farther out, so it's fine. I think it looks really pretty. I like it. So I'm going to do that with the same mount on the other side. Alright, and that is the other guy done. I just love these so much. They're just so beautiful. I'm going to go back in with the uh, e.l.f. blending brush and go back in with a mixture of milk chocolate and semi-sweet. And we are just going to deepen the outer crease one more time. Alright, and that is what the shadow is looking like. I am going to go as close as I can with the lash line with my favorite gel liner, which is the L'Oreal Black is Black Gel Liner. Or lacquer. I think it's called lacquer. Yeah, lacquer liner. Um, so I'm going to go in with this. I just said eyeliner. I tried to get as close as possible, and that's impossible because my eyeliner brush was dirty. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with a thin coat of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this mascara for so many reasons. I feel like it just separates my lashes well. If you struggle with your lashes getting clumpy, this is definitely a good one to try. It's classic. A lot of times they have it on sale too. Alright, so mascara is on. I'm going to let that dry. While that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and get my falsies ready to go. I'm going to be using a pair of the Demi Wispies by Ardell. It's these pair right here. They're just beautiful everyday lashes. They're perfect for every occasion. Um, I just really love them. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with those. I need to measure them first because this is a fresh pair. Alright, so we're back. I have lashes on now. The Ardell Demi Wispies that I showed you earlier. I'm going to go ahead and do two things while I, right before I do my brows. I'm going to be going in with my favorite primer of the month. This is the Angel Veil Primer by NYX. If you guys didn't know, NYX is a sister company to MAC Cosmetics. MAC is one of my all-time favorite makeup brands. It's just, they offer quality products. Um, like, I can trust that when I'm getting a MAC product, it's going to be quality. Now, there's some things that are hit and miss, of course, with any makeup company. But overall, I just I love the products that they put out. And the same is true with NYX. Some things are hit and miss, but... For the most part, it's just an amazing cosmetic company, and you can count on the things that they bring out. So, I'm going to be putting this on, and this is a skin perfecting primer. Some of the claims are that it fills in fine lines, um, it's oil free, um, it fills in pores. I just think it's great. I use this on a lot of my clients. And I'm going to be going in with the lip butter, and this is by Nivea. This is my favorite lip balm. I wish that it came in different packaging. It probably does. But my lips are extremely dry, so. I'm going to be putting on that while we're getting ready the rest of the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyebrows. Two products that I've always loved and that I continue to be loving is the uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. So I'm going to show you how they work together. Um, just so you're able to see completed brow with both of these products. When these products go on sale at Ulta, you can get them for buy one, get one half off, which I think is great. Um, so you can get two products um, for the price of one and a half. Sorry if the light keeps going like dim and then bright, dim and then bright. 
I'm working in my room and there's just the one window for natural light and I think it's like keeps getting cloudy and then clear, cloudy and then clear, which is super annoying because this morning it was so bright. I'm just praying it doesn't rain because then it's going to be all over. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the brow gel. I like to start from the outside of my brows and then work it in just because the most product, I want it to be darkest on the outer part of my brow. Now we have nice and full brows. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. I don't have a new foundation that I've been loving. I've been trying out a couple, and I'm not a fan, and they're both drugstore foundations, so I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, and I'm going to dot this around my face, and blend it in with a sponge. This is in the shade Medium Bisque, which is my summer shade, So, but we'll make it work. I'm making a mess today. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with our concealer. The concealer I've been loving lately is going to be the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is another product that I use a lot on my clients. And I've just been loving it. Um, yeah, it's just a good concealer. So I'm going to be spreading that on with a concealer brush. Alright, now that that is complete, I'm going to go in with a powder. I've loved this powder for a very long time. This is another product that I use periodically on clients, depending on their skin. Um, this is the RCMA No Color Powder. It doesn't leave a flashback in pictures. Um, you get a lot of product for what it is. The packaging annoys me, so that's one of the reasons why I prefer the Laura Mercier powder. Um, the Laura Mercier powder is probably a little bit better, in my opinion, um, but that one's pretty expensive. Ooh. So if you're on a budget, um, I would suggest this one. And we're going to go in with the beauty sponge and just bake with this. Now babe, can you define baking for me? Like setting? To yeah. like setting your makeup? Close. That's my best guess. Baking your makeup essentially is where you are um, you leave the powder on your skin and your skin heats up with the powder mm -hmm. and the liquid products underneath and it basically just locks it in so we'll leave this how it is like white cast ghost to like for about five minutes and then we'll buff it away um, and my foundation actually needs a couple more minutes to set so I'm going to go ahead and work on my under eyes while we're waiting on that to happen I'm going to go in with a Morphe 165, it's just a flat definer brush. I'm going to go in with the first shade that we used, Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar palette. And we are going to buff this underneath our eyes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Mars Pan shade in this palette. It's like a champagne color and we're going to go ahead and go into our inner corners with this
And then I'm going to take a little bit of champagne truffle on the same brush. And that says the pinky shade in this palette. And I'm going to go ahead just on the high points of my brow. To highlight. So you guys hear that there's going to be a 13 Reasons Why Season 2. It's going to be so interesting. I'm really excited to see what they do with it. I'm going to go into my waterline with this ColourPop Le Pencil. And this is in the shade Get Paid. It's a like pretty coppery champagne metallic. Alright, so now that the lower lash line is complete, we're going to go ahead and take a tiny bit more of that powder, just like coating, like lightly coating our brush, and we're just going to kick away the, the dust, <laughs> the bake. And then we can go back in, and we can go ahead and put some mascara. Same one, L'Oreal Telescopic, on our lower lash line. Alright, mascara is complete. Um, the rest of our face is now set, so I'm going to go in with my pressed powder, and this is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC25, and we are just going to set the rest of our foundation with this, the parts that we didn't touch with the RCMA powder. I'm going to take a um, big powder brush by Real Techniques, and we're just going to press this into our skin, just so everything blends on top of it. Alright, and that is complete. We're going to go ahead and go in with my favorite bronzer of life, and I'm pretty sure you guys can all guess what this is. I use it in every single video. I can't use anything besides this. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And it smells like the vacation I want to be on right now. And we're going to take a Morphe brush. This is the M527. And we are going to bronze up our cheeks. Alright, and then we're going to go in with my favorite highlight, and I think that this just matches with everything. And this is Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. It's the most beautiful, peachy, buttery highlight in the entire world. I'm going to be going in with my Real Technique setting brush, and just popping this on the high points of my cheek. Alright, that is complete, and I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush that I think will match this, and I really love, anyway, I just love this blush. I've loved it for a long time, and this is Luminoso by Milani, and this is one of their baked blushes. Fun fact, this is one of the first um, products that I bought off of a YouTube recommendation. Everybody and their mom was talking about Luminoso, like everybody. So I was like, I need to get my hands on this blush. And so I did. Alright, so that is done. Now I'm just going to clean up where my bronzer went a little bit too low. I'm going to take the same RCMA powder and our wet beauty sponge. And I'm just going to carve out where I want my bronzer to stop. Alright, while that is baking, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about each product. 
Um, I'm sure that all of you have seen and used the chocolate bar palette. It's just a great overall palette. I have the chocolate bonbons palette and I have the semi sweet palette. I gave rid of the sem I gave rid I gave away or got rid of the semi sweet palette just because the shades weren't as pigmented and blendable as I thought these were. So that's why I gave it away. I just wasn't into it. I wasn't using it. So I gave it to somebody that would use it. Um, the butter bronzer, you know, I just love it. I've always loved it. This is a really good foundation, the uh, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'm not exactly sure if I would choose this or the Estee Lauder Dump Wear. I think that they're both very similar in that their long longevity and their coverage and everything like that. Um, the price points are also very similar as well. Estee Lauder is a little bit cheaper and maybe a little bit more long lasting. So I think I would still choose that one over this one if I was purchasing one. The NYX Angel Veil is just a great affordable primer. Um, like I said, sister company to MAC, NYX is, and it's just an excellent product. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I have Opal, and then I have a set with Pearl and Blush Copper, too. Um, and these ones are just the most buttery formula in the entire world. Um, they just glide on your cheeks, give you a beautiful glow. They're just great powders in general. And then the Steel and Magnificent Metals, I love these. I want a million more of these. They're just the most stunning glitter in the entire world. And they're so easy to use. Like before with loose glitters, you would need to go in and put down a glitter glue and pack on the glitter. And then you'd have glitter everywhere, like all over everything. Like you'd wake up four days later and still have glitter on your clothing. So I just love these. I think they're so innovative. And then I've been loving these ColourPop shadows as well. Just the colors themselves, like they're all pigmented, they're all vibrant. Um, they're just great shadows. I love, I've been loving these as well. And then a lot of the other products you've seen me use in other videos, like I genuinely like all these products. And I like doing it this way just so you can see some of the products I've been liking in action. Um, now that that's had a chance to sit there for a second, I'm going to go in with the same powder brush. And buff away the bake. I'm also going to go in with MAC Fix Plus, which is my favorite setting spray. Just to lock everything into place to make it look more like skin. And then I'm going to go in with a lip liner. This is the Aquarius Lip Liner by ColourPop. Love Kathleen Lights, love Aquarius everything. Um, it's just a really cool nude shade. Pretty sure it just like fell off too. Oh my gosh. See this is one thing I don't like about ColourPop lip liners. They like fall in and out. Like I just, they're five dollars. I can't complain but seriously. Like, my MAC ones don't do this. The lip liner, not the lip liner, the lipstick I'm going to be using is also by ColourPop, and it's also Aquarius. I used this in a previous video, but I feel like it's just going to match this eye look the best. This is the Aquarius Ultra Satin Lip. Alright, so that is finished. I will be right back to close out this video. Alright guys, well I hope that you enjoyed watching my video on all of my June favorites and how they applied and how I got this look out of it. Definitely enjoyed making this. Love every single one of these products so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos. If you like this format versus me just sitting here and talking about each product, please let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.
so much for watching my video. 